Let's take a look at the inventory item maintenance screen. This is the screen where you would define your products or SKUs and various attributes that control their behavior on sales, purchases, and other activities in Blue Link. The top one third of the screen remains static and contains things like product code, description in more than one language if appropriate, unit of measure categories, and inventory class. The bottom two thirds of the screen is divided into multiple tabs that allow us to manage a significant number of different aspects of the product, as well as see information on purchase history, etc. Moving over to the pricing and units of measures tab, you can see that we have the ability to define an unlimited number of units of measure in which we might buy or sell any individual product. I just have two displayed here, but you can have any number and they can be of any type of unit of measure, such as weights or volumes. Below that, we have the ability to define pricing rules for each currency in which we trade, because Bluelink is a multi-currency system. In Bluelink, we have list prices and we can have discount breaks based on quantities, which will all be based on list prices. As you can see at the very bottom of the screen, we can also use contract pricing to create an unlimited number of pricing rules, be they actual prices or discounts off of other prices or volume discounts or any combination thereof. We can have an unlimited number of prices per product, per customer, with rules on which prices to use if one customer, for example, is entitled to more than one price. On the Info tab, there are a number of attributes we can define, and one of the more important ones is lot tracking. Turning this on gives users the ability to track lot numbers, best before dates, expiry dates, and for those dealing with certain material, die lots. On the Vendors tab, we have the ability to define multiple vendors from whom we could purchase. We also have the ability to specify a primary vendor which will be used in the recommended purchasing activity. Since Bluelink is a multi-location or multi-warehouse system, we have the ability to define multiple inventory locations or warehouses, and of course we can see what the status is in terms of inventory on hand, on purchase order, on order, and back order quantities by location on this particular tab. Additionally, from the screen we have the ability to review sales year on year or month by month or month year on year for the last five years, looking at them in terms of units, dollar values, or gross margins. And beyond that, we have the ability to look at the individual sales history so that we can drill right down to who we sold these products to and when we sold them, as well as transaction numbers. And finally, we also manage reorder levels and we can have multiple reorder levels per product to take into account the seasonality of demand as well as obviously specifying different reorder levels by inventory location.